tropical wave Zach, tropical wave Courtney, tropical wave Ashley, tropical wave Elisa, tropical wave Amy, tropical wave Sydney, tropical wave Andy, and tropical wave Rebecca. While some of these tropical waves sitting before you began their swell one or two semesters before the other ones, when all of these tropical waves came together and they entered the warm water of nursing school, a hurricane formed. I'm gonna call this hurricane class of 2022. It has been raging for two years. I think that I can safely speak for all the faculty that's on stage today when I say this class does nothing without passion, candor, fiercity, and just like a hurricane, everyone can see their path of destruction. <laughs> I'm not sure one faculty member can say that they weren't completely exhausted by the time the storm went through their class. But I'm not telling you guys in the audience anything you don't know, right? Because they were your tropical waves before they became our tropical waves. And I know we didn't create the wave. They came from you. <laughs> so graduates, here's the thing. It's time for the storm to calm. No more passionate discussions about test questions. Stop adding content, Skylar. Embrace that 78%. Bask in the glory of knowing you did it. In a few short weeks, you will all be sitting for the NCLEX. This is the most high stake exam you'll ever take. Be calm. Because once that exam is over, you will be the ones called to calm the storm. The tropical waves of birth, the tropical waves of loss, tropical waves of cancer, trauma, mental illness, anger, grief, joy, and even some tropical waves created by physicians. As the storm passes through SMC and we send these tropical waves into the nursing profession, I'm saying, can I stop taking my blood pressure medicine? <laughs> Graduates, I want to leave you all with a few words of Kennedy wisdom. Potassium? Unless you're in psych, yes. then it's not to thank all of you guys in their journey. Madeline Buchan, Boy, I'm sorry, Bochamp. Being pinned by Yolanda Roche, Madeline graduated with nursing honors. I would like to start off by saying thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout this journey. Although these last two years have been anything but easy, I wouldn't change the memories I have made, the knowledge I have gained, or the people I've had the privilege of meeting. To all my nursing instructors, thank you for pushing me to my greatest potential and believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. To my fellow classmates, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your friendship. I have loved every tear, memory, and laugh we have shared. I couldn't ask for a better group of people to experience nursing school with. 
to my fiance, Zach, my parents, my brother, and my grandparents. I owe you the biggest thank you of them all for your unconditional love and constant support. You were always there to celebrate the good times and pick me up during the bad. You are my shoulder to cry on and my safe place. If it wasn't for all of you, I wouldn't be standing up here today. With all my love, Maddie Beauchamp. <laughs> Melanie Becker, graduating with nursing honors, being pinned by Jody Tidy, SMC graduate. No one tells you how hard nursing school is, or maybe they do, but you don't listen. Either way, it doesn't take long to realize that nursing school is one of the hardest things you'll ever do. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give up and quit multiple times. But thankfully, my amazing and supportive friends and family never stopped encouraging me. They believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself. I wouldn't be graduating today without my amazing support system and, of course, the grace of God. I'd like to thank my parents for their love, support, and prayers. Dinner was always made, and my clinical scrubs were somehow always clean. I'd also like to thank my husband, who has supported me through this whole program. He was always there with a shoulder to cry on and encouraging words. I'd also like to thank every peer that encouraged me, checked up on me, and reminded me that I was not alone in this. And last but not least, every other family member and friend that cheered me on and set up silent prayers along the way. Thank you all. I finally made it. <laughs> Skyler Burlingham being pinned by Carissa Porter SMC graduate. Why do you want to be a nurse? This is the age-old question we've all been asked and probably will be asked for the rest of our lives. I didn't have a big life event that made me decide nursing. I just one day chose that's what I'm going to do. But I want to thank my classmates, professors, and all my patients thus far for making me fall in love with it. I want to thank my family for being my worst patients and best supports. I think my mom learned as much as I did by helping me do flashcards all the time. I want to thank Sydney Stevenson for being the best study buddy and friend. And to my nursing family, I love you all. Thank you for being my rock throughout all of this. I am going to miss the circus. <laughs> Tamisha Carroll being pinned by Robin Worsham. Becoming a nurse has been a dream of mine for as long as I can remember. And I honestly didn't think I would ever see the day that I would be here on this stage. Nursing school wasn't easy to say the least, 
but I made a promise to myself, my kids, Heaven and Yamari, and my mother before she passed, that I would not give up, and I kept that promise. I am so proud to say that I made it. I want to say thank you to all of my family and friends who have supported me along this difficult journey. A special thank you to Jennifer Stout for all the one-on-one -on -one tutoring, words of encouragement and support. I couldn't have made it without you. I would like to thank my significant other, Levanta, my sister, Rochelle, and my good friends, Robin and Brenda, for being my support system through the last few years. I would also like to thank Dean Kennedy for believing in me and helping me to see my full potential. I am so grateful for all of you. Amanda Deming being pinned by Dr. Melissa Kennedy. I was beginning to think this day would never come. To say it's been a journey would be an understatement. There have been many ups and downs, a lot of sleepless nights, happy tears and sad tears, but through it all, I have grown into a person I am proud of. I could not have done this without my amazing support system. They have heard it all, the happy, the sad, and everything in between. With that being said, I would like to say a special thanks to my husband, David, who pushes me every day with love and support, and he believed in me in times when I didn't believe in myself. My children, Harper and Raylan, who have given me so much inspiration to keep going, even when times got tough. My parents, who have always been my biggest fans and are always there to pick me back up when I am down. My sister, who has always been my listening ear, and pushed me to stay positive. My mother-in-law, who is always willing to listen to teach, me her, to teach me my material. I was learning just how to help me study. And also my classmates. We have been through so much together and sometimes you were the only ones who understood the struggle of nursing school. Thank you for becoming my little school family and always being there for me. Because we said one day, we said on day one, we will get through this together. Thank you to the teachers who have helped us get through this challenge and who challenge us to learn and grow into nurses and not just scared little students. I am so grateful for all of you. I couldn't have made it through this without you. Jennifer Eckerly, being pinned by Jody Morris, SMC graduate. I would like to thank my friends and family who have helped me every step of the way. Thank you for supporting me and pushing me to do the impossible. <laughs> Jennifer Diana Gomez Geraldo, being pinned by Yolanda Roche. Today, one of my biggest dreams comes true. Losing my mother and being pregnant while in nursing school was the hardest thing I have gone through. It showed me how determined and strong I am, and I can achieve anything that I work hard for. Today, I want to thank God for giving me the passion and love to help people, 
and the strength to overcome any obstacle. To my mother looking over me for showing me how to be a strong woman and how to care for others. To my husband David for being my rock and telling me every day that I can do it. To my baby Sophie for being my motivation to be better every day. To my family and friends for cheering me up and believing in me. To my classmates graduating today for all the support during this crazy journey. To my instructors for all the knowledge and lessons. I feel blessed to have met so many great people from whom I have learned so much. Thank you so much and God bless us all. Julian Gordon, member of Phi Theta Kappa and graduating with nursing honors, being pinned by Rona Goodrich. <clears throat> Congratulations to everyone. I am so proud of all of us. This has been one of the most challenging walks in life, and I am so happy that we made it to the end. I want to say thank you to my amazing family, my parents, sister, and grandmothers. Where would I be without you guys? You have pushed me forward and always supported me no matter what. You have been here to cheer me on with this encouragement and unwavering love. There were times when throwing in the towel would have been so easy, but you never let me quit or give up on what I wanted to be and achieve for myself. The advice and prayers you've given along the way will stay with me in this life and beyond. I love you more than words could ever describe. To my friends, classmates, and the SMC instructors. Thanks for pushing me to the finish line. Without the camaraderie and support from everyone, this would have felt impossible at times. I wish us all much success in everything we do in this amazing field. Thanks again to everyone who has been here through this journey of nursing school. With love and blessings, Julian. Erin Handlin, member of Phi Theta Kappa, graduating with nursing honors, being pinned by Matthew Beaver, SMC graduate. I would like to take this opportunity to formally thank those who've helped me achieve this dream of mine. First, thank you to SMC and their incredible nursing staff, from classroom professors to clinical instructors to Dean Kennedy herself. I've always felt supported and able to ask questions, no matter how small or silly they seemed. I've thrived under your guidance. To my cohort, what an adventure this has been. When times were great, we celebrated our victories as one. When times were difficult, we pushed one another to do more, do better, and try harder because we knew we could persevere. I'm so thankful to have found my people. I look forward to working beside you on the front lines. Lastly, thank you to my boyfriend and our friends. From all-nighter study marathons, quizzing me with thousands of flashcards, and being my test subjects for nursing skills. You have all been in the trenches with me this entire time. A special thank you to Billy for being my rock, my safe place, and my number one supporter these last two years. Your unwavering support has made this moment possible. Cheryl Hoffman being pinned 
by Sherry Harris, SMC graduate. I have so many people to thank for their help over the past 40 years of taking this scenic route to finish this degree. First are my beloved parents. My mother, Dodie, is why I went back to school, and my parents, Helen Sue, are why I finished it. Without them, it would not have been possible. None of them are here to see this day, but I thank them from the bottom of my heart. Next is my husband, Bruce who hated every moment of spending countless hours alone while I studied and attended classes, but stood behind me because it is what I wanted. My brother, Jess, who drove here from South Carolina to be here today. Thank you for talking me off the ledge more times than I can count. Finally, my children and grandchildren for allowing me the time I need to get this done and being patient when I had to say, I can't, I have to study. I also thank Sherry, my friend and mentor, Dr. Kennedy and Dr. Green for not taking no as an answer and making me graduate when I lost heart. Above all, I thank God for giving me the courage, desire and gift. May I represent you well in all I do as I practice. Madison Halsoffel being pinned by Yolanda Roche. I'd like to extend a huge thank you to my wonderful parents. My nursing school journey has been far from easy. My success in this program would not have been possible without your continued and overwhelming love and support. Thank you for the sacrifices that you've made in order to get me where I am. Thank you for always reminding me of what I'm capable of, but most importantly, thank you for being the best friends I could ever ask for. Dad, Thank you for being such a devoted cornhole teacher and forever my biggest competition. My beautiful mother, our relationship means more to me than I could ever put into words. You inspire me every day in all that you do. I would not be the woman I am today without you. And to my lovely boyfriend, Nate, thank you for being so supportive and accepting the minimal attention I have been able to give. As I celebrate this achievement, one of my biggest rewards is being able to walk away with some of the most amazing friendships that will continue throughout our lives and careers. I am so proud of you all and cannot wait to see what we as nurses accomplish. <laughs> Dylan Hirsch, nursing honors, being pinned by Dr. Melissa Kennedy, SMC graduate, and the best of all time, just a straight legend. <laughs> Thank you to my friends, family, and most importantly, my parents, for showing me endless love and support throughout my nursing school journey. I would not be standing where I am today if it wasn't for the support system behind me, pushing me to be a better version of myself each and every day. Thank you to the entire educational staff for their constant encouragement and support throughout the ups and downs of nursing school. You have all shown me what it means to be a compassionate and tenacious nurse, and for that I am truly grateful. Best of luck to my classmates in their future endeavors. I know you all will do great. <laughs> Ashley Hill, 
Ashley King, nursing honors, being pinned by Teresa Kahn, SMC graduate. To my significant other, Gary, thank you for being there through every up and down over the last three years. Nursing school was not the easiest for our family to get through. You have fostered confidence and passion in me to work hard and pursue my dreams with no boundaries. Your countless sacrifices have opened many doors for me to grow and succeed. No matter what, I will forever be grateful to you. To my nursing school friends, especially Teresa Kahn, I will forever be thankful for your friendship and encouragement throughout this adventure. And to the most important people in my life, my five children, I know that this has been not only a trying time for me, but also for you. Between nursing school and working full time, I have missed a lot, but we made it. A better future is in the works. I would steal the, stun, the sun from the sky for you guys. I hope I make you all as proud as you make me. Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Nelson Mandela. It's our turn to make the world a better place, one patient at a time. Thank you. Zach Cruz, nursing honors, being pinned by Stacy Myers. If you had told me I would be standing on this stage five years ago, I would have laughed in your face. I was a high school dropout who had no goals or ambitions, no hopes nor dreams. Somehow, I ended up working at a hospital, and somehow, I ended up meeting Stacy Myers. She pushed me to go to nursing school before that was even a thought in my mind. And so, I enroll in SMC before telling anybody, even my own mother, who who has supported me more than anyone else throughout this entire ordeal. Her support and care allowed me to focus solely on school and achieving something I never would have thought possible. The friends I made along the way have helped me to pass my classes, and the staff, in particular Dr. Kennedy, have been there whenever I needed somebody to talk to. Nursing school has been the most difficult challenge I have faced in my entire life, and now I stand before you full of new aspirations and ready to take on whatever challenges await me next. <laughs> Courtney Latch, being pinned by Yolanda Roche. After a very long and stressful three years, I can now officially say that I have made it through nursing school. I want to take this time to say thank you to my wonderful parents for helping me whenever I needed it and always believing in me. Especially my mom, who answered every call of me crying after every test because I believed I failed. Without them rooting me on these last three years, I don't know if I would have made it through. I also want to thank my girls for understanding how hard our life had to be these past three years when I completed school. As proud as you are of me, I am even prouder of you for sticking through this journey with me. I'd also like to thank the numerous coworkers that helped me study or simply let me observe them doing their job. It helped me feel more comfortable in the clinical setting. To all my classmates that are now friends, thank you for all the encouragement to continue even when I wasn't doing so great. 
The willingness to study with me helped so much, and I will not forget all the help you have given me. Last but not least, I want to thank my wonderful guy, Lee, for always pushing me to study even when I didn't want to. You encouraged me every day to be the best version of myself that I could be, and I don't know what I would have done without your support. <laughs> Ashley Lau, Nursing Honors, being pinned by Dr. Melissa Kennedy, SMC graduate. I want to send a huge thank you to my parents who made the last two years possible for me. I could not have done this without your constant love and support. I am beyond thankful to have such great people to look up to and guide me throughout my life. I love you more than you know. To my poppy, who recently passed, I know you're here watching over me tonight, and I want to thank you for your financial support and making this dream come true. I love you and miss you every day. I also want to thank my boyfriend and his family. Chase, I appreciate your unconditional love and support more than you know. I'm thankful for all of your help along this journey, but the flashcards you helped me make were not good. I love the effort, though. <laughs> Melissa, I don't know what I would have done without you. Probably cried a lot more. I'm honored to stand here and have you pin me tonight. And Jim, I'm convinced I only passed exams just so I could text you. I'm not a C-grade nurse. Last but not least, thank you to my classmates. I can't imagine having done this with any other people by my side. Thank you again to all my friends and family. I love you all. <laughs> Elisa Rahasi Manana being pinned by Dr. Melissa Kennedy, SMC graduate. I am overwhelmed with pride and I am very thankful for this outstanding recognition. To become a nurse has been my dream. First of all, I want to thank my professors who have helped me become who I am today. Also, I want to thank my family, my husband and my two children, Nathaniel and Azaria, who have always supported me throughout my studies. I could not make it without constant support from my family. You earn success when there is a devotion to it. I tried every possible avenue to achieve it. I never had the pleasure to lie down late in the morning. I had to rise early and go to bed late. Indeed, I sacrificed a lot to come to this graduation ceremony. I have two kids, balancing studies and taking care of my family has been a challenge. They understand how busy I was preparing for my school. I want to thank them again. My husband had been supportive, caring for our children when I'm at school, and I thank him for that. Also, I want to thank those who contributed to my success today, either by giving me advice or contributing financially. I want to thank Dr. Lalasan and his family. The same thanks to James Sharpley and his family, my father, my mother, and my mother-in-law, Pauline. I want to thank also Sophia Kang, Ted and Shirley Wackerly. I also want to thank all my nursing classmates for the support and advice. Never give up on achieving your dream. Don't be discouraged when you sometimes fail on the way. Rise and try again. Failures are just steps to tremendous success. Failures are like bridges to actual achievements. Amy Steinkraus, member of Phi Theta Kappa and graduating with nursing honors being pinned by Dr. Wendy Steinkraus, SMC graduate. Yeah. 
I want to thank my friends, family, and faculty for all your support and encouragement during nursing school. This program was the hardest thing I've ever accomplished, and I could not have done it without you. Thank you to my fiance, Eli, for being patient and understanding whenever I had to stay home and study instead of going out. Thank you for listening to me cry after every pharmacology exam and for trying to help me study even though you couldn't pronounce the medical terms. I also want to thank this cohort for welcoming me during your final semester. I'm going to miss Aaron trying to reason points back while reviewing exams and Julian's acting in the simulation lab. I have learned a lot from all of you and know you will be amazing nurses. I can't wait to work beside you one day. Sydney Stevenson, Nursing Honors, being pinned by Marcy Perrucker. The past two years have been the hardest and most awarding years of my life, my short life. It's been a privilege to have gained the memories and experiences alongside my classmates, whether they were good or bad. Nursing school has helped me grow as a professional, a family member, and as an individual. I'm grateful to my family for all the support and encouragement they provided and for dealing with my 50 different personalities along the way. A special thank you to my boyfriend, AJ, for never letting my fear get the best of me and for all of your encouragement. You are my rock and I wouldn't be standing here without you. Thank you to the SMC instructors for being patient and answering all of my questions and providing me with support, school related or not. You made me feel safe and guided. I wanna thank my fellow nursing students for all the love and support all of you provided. We became a nursing family that carried each other through the thick and thin and I am truly grateful to have met each and every one of you. I am not able to thank you enough. From the bottom of my heart, I love you all. Andrew Waite, being pinned by his wifey, Brooke Shout, SMC graduate. What a ride. Having two children during my tenure as a student certainly did not make this experience easier. It took quite the logistical effort to get through this successfully, especially when you add the fact that my wife works full time as a travel nurse. Thank you, Brooks family, the Combs clan, Susan, Mike, Barbara, Patty, Ann, Gail, Kayla, and Tommy for watching the boys whenever we needed. Thank you to my family, Kelly, Chris, Linda, Jody, Joyce, and Russ for allowing me to drop by unannounced with the boys on countless occasions so I could get in a couple more hours of study time. Thank you to my mom for carrying the brunt of the kid watching. I know it was not easy and I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you to my classmates, new and old. The support was amazing. Last, thank you to the one who I have had the honor of pinning me my beautiful, perfect, smart, awesome wife. Your love for nursing is what motivated me to pursue it. I'll never forget when I told you I wanted to go to nursing school and you simply replied, why? <laughs> now I know why you replied that way. <laughs> Nevertheless, we did it. Let's get to work. Rebecca Woods, being pinned by Petra Woods. Wow. 
I'd like to thank all my family and friends for supporting me through these tough couple of semesters. It has been challenging at times, no doubt, but my perseverance has paid off. Florence Nightingale has long been revered as the founder of modern nursing. Her dedication, conviction, and profound vision transformed nursing from that of a domestic service to a profession known for its caring and compassion. She pioneered the concept of education for nurses and continues to influence nursing education today. The long-lasting legacy Florence left behind is illustrated through the Nightingale Pledge. This pledge was composed by Lystra Gretter, a nursing instructor from Detroit, Michigan, and was first used by nursing graduates in 1892. Nursing students who have completed rigorous programs are often welcomed into the profession by reciting the Nightingale Pledge. A modern interpretation of this pledge states that you will practice your profession with integrity, maintain and elevate the standards of nursing as a science and an art, Recognize the importance of high standards and personal accountability. Devote yourself to the healing and protection of those committed to your care. Respect the privacy of personal and medical information. Act with compassion in ethical matters. Commit to interdisciplinary collaboration and lifelong learning. And acknowledge the responsibility you have accepted and the significance of the pledge that you read before peers, family, and friends. Graduates, I ask that you recite the Nightingale Pledge now. As you read the pledge today, be mindful of the words they represent. Graduates, please stand. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed in my care. Thank you, graduates. You can be seated. Florence Nightingale game, gained the nickname The Lady with the Lamp as she was often observed with a lamp in her hands, making rounds on the sick and injured after the medical officers had went home for the night. The lamp represents life, the light of divinity, wisdom, intellect, and good works. It is a pinnacle symbol of self-sacrifice. Each semester, the nursing seniors vote on a recipient of the Nightingale Award. This award is presented to a student who demonstrates outstanding characteristics and are recognized by their peers for their selflessness, compassion, thoughtfulness, dependability, and generosity. They are a team player, a student that has a positive attitude and is encouraging and whenever willing to help whenever is needed. This semester, the graduate that earned this prestigious honor is, drum roll, Sydney Stevenson. Let us give her a round of applause.
At this time, I'm going to have the graduates stand. Let's give them all one more round of applause for their accomplishment. And if you guys could all please remain seated until the graduates get out in the hallway, they can meet you out in the hallway. You go.